What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities, and metro stories. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here reads NJC finally takes decision on allegation against Anogen and Tanko Muhammad. Before I go over to reading today's news to you, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos in our channel, please go ahead, hit that red subscribe button below this video, subscribe to our channel, and you will always be updated whenever we publish news like this without ever missing any news from us again. I have a good news for those of you who want to make money online posting videos to YouTube just like I do. Currently, I make between $100 to $150 daily publishing news like this as you see to youtube and i get paid by youtube okay so if you want to make this if you want to make money like i do please contact me below there's an email below the cost is fifteen thousand uh, naira so as you guys to contact me we'll discuss on how you'll get the cost thank you very much the national judicial commission NJC has finally taken decision on the allegation of misconduct brought against suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN Water or no gain. They also reached a decision on allegation against acting CJN Tanko Muhammad. The council decided that the allegation relating to asset declaration that were leveled against Honorable Mrs. Justice WSN or no gain. C -J -C uh, G C O N were subsidized and therefore abstained from considering them. The NJC reached decision after an emergency meeting to examine the report of the five-man committee set up to investigate petition against Onogen and Muhammad. However, it refrained from making its findings public. This was contained in a statement on Wednesday by Soji Oye, the council's director of information. The NJC said his recommendation has been sent to President Muhammadu Buhari. The NGC statement added the National Judicial Council reconvened today in an emergency meeting to consider the report of the five-man committee constituted to investigate the allegation of misconduct against Honorable Mr. Justice WSN Onogen, GCON, and Honorable Mr. Justice IT Mohammed. CFR Soji Oye, NGC Director of Information, said in a statement on Wednesday, Council decided that the allegation relating to asset declaration that were leveled against Honorable Mr. Justice WSN and Nogen, GCON, were subsidized and therefore abstained from considering them. Council reached a decision on the petition written by Economic and Financial Commission, EFCC, and, other, and others and conferred the decision, decision to President Muhammadu Buhari. Council also resolved that by nature of the decision reach, it will be inappropriate to publicize it before conveying it to Mr. President. Alright, so what do you guys think about it? This is Onogen. Onogen has been in the storm uh, for more than three months now. Okay, so he was a he was the CJN, that is Chief Justice of Nigeria, but he was deposed by the executive, okay? And people actually lambasted the executive when this happened. You know, you know that as a number one chief judiciary officer of the country, you are you, you, you owe your um your discipline, okay, is supposed to be handled by NGC. If you do anything wrong, there's a body that checkmates your activity monitors and also discipline you if you do anything wrong and that is national judicial council but you see the executive in its bid to get rid of or, or not get we don't actually know the reason for that actually got him suspended and they didn't want to do otherwise okay so he is according to the executive he is still the chief justice of nigeria but he is in a suspended position now why tanko muhammad is acting you know is acting uh, as cjn okay so uh today as of today being wednesday national judicial council set up a five committee and this five committee submitted a report today an emergency meeting was held to cons consider measures that will be uh actually be deployed against onogen and muhammad but there is something fishy here i've noticed and that is they did not even consider the Asset declaration, you know, uh, um, a case against Onogen. They said it was 
subjudice and therefore they didn't even consider it and if you look at it right away if you see, if you look at the hierarchy of the judicial council you discover that onogen is still sitting as a number one his tenure has not expired yet i think his tenure is going to have expired in two months time so if, and if you look at it could it be that onogen has influenced the report we don't actually know i don't know but the the the, the report set up by five-man committee did not actually indict on again okay he did not indict him so we can only speculate here because they have not made the findings public but they said that they have not considered uh the 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 um the asset declaration uh, uh case against on again they said they have not even considered it at all so could it be that Onogen has influenced the report? We don't know because he is still the number one judicial officer and he is still sitting at the head of that council. We don't know what they are brought up against Tanko Mohammed. It remains to be seen. They pass the report to the presidency. Let's wait and see what they will pass out to the public and let's know what is uh, the report actually entailed and their decision. All right, guys, but you can go ahead, drop your comment below. And let me know what's in your mind and we can brainstorm together. Thank you very much. This is from Emma Com TV. Peace out to all of you.